There's your Kentucky Lake Slab. Hey guys, we're coming back at you with another technique for covering water and locating the biggest fish in the lake. What's going on? I'm down here at Kentucky Lake. The American Crappie Trail Tournament is this week. I haven't been down here in a good while. I'm sitting in the back of Blood River right now. It's the first time I've been down in Blood River probably two years. So what I'm getting ready to do, I'm gonna walk you through how it is that I troll crankbaits, why it is that I do it, and what it is that I use to do it. So uh, here in a minute, we're gonna uh, get right on to that. If you don't mind, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it, guys. Let's get to it and show you what's going on. What I've got going, I am using line counter reels. I put my crankbait on, I reel the line up to the very end of the pole. I come back here and I push this little button that resets me back at zero. That way I know just exactly how much line I've got out. So when I do catch a fish, I can put more poles to that same depth because that'll be where that the, most of the fish are holding at. The crankbaits that we're using, these are uh, big four custom crankbaits. Hit him up over on Facebook, awesome dude. And man, them suckers right there are sexy now. He's got them in all different colors. We've got uh, pink and chartreuse, uh, green and black, uh, a blue and chartreuse, and a pink chartreuse and pink tail. So we're varying our colors a little bit to try to figure out what it is crappie want. So I'm getting ready to kick my trolling motor in low speed and hit north on my remote to keep me going in a straight line. Then all I'm gonna do is trip these levers and let it go out and I'm gonna start with uh, the most line I let out is always on my center rod, the ones closest to the motor. The least line will always be my longest. I've got a 16, a 12, a eight, and a six on my rod to give me a good separation on everything. So I'm gonna grab my remote, get started letting these lines out and let's see if we can't put some fish in the boat. probably saw me loosen my drag all the way up and flip the little uh, silver button right here on the side. That's so if that I don't see the bite, I'll hear it. As soon as that fish hits, those rods will start bouncing or you'll hear it drag trip. And while I'm doing this, I'm also gonna be sitting here watching my side scan so that I can mark any structure that I might come across that I think I might be uh, wanna fish in the future. So here we go, let's see what we can do. Hopefully we got our first fish, guys. feet out. Okay, it was 120 feet out. Crank got him inside the there just a little bit. 0.63. Let's see how long he is. Probably 10 and a half inches or so. 0.63 and that's a 12 inch fish. Now we know that that fish was 12 inches long. We can compare it to other 12 inch fish from different bays around the Kentucky Lake 
and try to figure out which ones are the healthiest and biggest that's going to help us out in the tournament that's the whole point of what i'm doing right here uh, we're going to run between 1.6 and 2.3 right now we're running right at two mile an hour here we go oh i don't feel nothing Um, maybe I do. Let's check him out here. Oh, yeah. There's fish on there. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Get my camera on. Let's go. Get my camera on. I guess I should have left it rolling the whole time. It's coming way up back there. That's a good sign. Put that dude right there off. What have we got here? Coming in in circles. Get him on top. Get him on top. About lost that last one. Looks like a decent fish. Look like a decent fish. One handed net action. That is the Outlaw Landing Net by Crappie Monster. Available at crappiemonster.com. See what we got here. And that's what I love about that net. Doggone crankbaits just fall out of it. Pow! Nice. I think it's another 12 inch or so. I'd say he's probably about another 7 4. better fish 80 88 0.88 still under a pound that ain't what we're looking for but Kentucky Lake the fish have been really skinny for the last few years let's see what he is he might be just a hair over 12 he is a 12 and a quarter inch fish 12 and a quarter right there I got a second to talk again. If you notice, when I reeled that fish in, I held the rod way up over my head trying to bring that fish to the top of the water and then I skied him all the way in. That way there's uh, less re uh, resistance with him down in the water to where he could possibly pull that hook out. And once he gets to the top, start skiing across. One, you're less likely to rip the hook out. Two, you're less likely to cross all your other lines up. And one thing, you've got to keep a good eye on your graph and make sure you don't run into a shallow area. I've dropped all my rods back from 110 to 125 after catching that fish. And we're back running 1.8 to 1.9 again. And we're just going to keep on hitting these points. We're just trying to run across the ends of the points. And those fish are just sitting there. And uh, I'm actually I'm marking quite a bit of structure as we're trolling up through here. So I'm going to get back to fishing. Uh oh guys here's one right here oh it feels good the line's coming up way back there i'm gonna have to set this down for a second so i can tighten my drag where is that tighten this drag up shut that clicker off there he is fish oh yeah it is a good fish probably should have netted him come here hey yep like i said i should have netted him that could have been bad i could have took a crankbait to the face or anything really all right let's see what we got this one looks like a little bit fatter fish i got to get turned before i hit this point right here and tangle everything up when you're turning guys you got to make sure that you make a long turn or you'll end up widening all your lines up and that just makes for a really bad day tight turns are not your friend when you're throwing crankbaits i'm gonna hit that north button i'm gonna come up here wait turn my scale on here and see what we got I'm trying to set in the shade so y'all can see that this one got a little bit bigger mouth than that last one 0.72 I'm 
sorry, 0.77. Let's see how long it is. The last one was 12 inches. This right here is right at 12 inches. That's two 12 inch fish. Two 12 inches. We're gonna let him go back. come back here and I know I was right in here so I'm gonna put a pink fish on here hopefully y'all can see that hit save now I know right there I caught a 12 inch fish well that's two so far in about a quarter mile I'm gonna get this rod back out it was on the pink and chartreuse big four custom crank and it had right at a hundred feet of line out running 1.8 Check this dude out. My God, what a... There's your Kentucky Lake Slam. Boy, that dude's skinny. Let's see what he looks like. 130 maybe. 141. Nope, 145. with you what I was doing how I was doing it and why I was doing it like I said I'm pre-fishing for a tournament we're gonna keep on trucking with this and see what that I can't get figured out before the tournament but that is uh, two of my three twills have came off the same rod same color same crankbait any of them crankbaits check out uh, big four custom cranks there on Facebook he'll get you fixed up Brian's a great guy no he's not one of my sponsors I use his stuff because it works so if you don't mind, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, guys. Until next time, we appreciate y'all tuning in, and we'll be coming back at you with some great South Carolina action with me and Matthew Outlaw, the guys whose name is on that Outlaw landing net right there. Make sure to go over to crappiemonster.com, pick y'all one up while supplies last. Uh, we're getting ready to go out of stock, but we'll be back in stock around September. Until next time, guys, we appreciate it. We'll see you.